Hello, I'm Herman from CF Engine development team, and in this video we're going to take a look at the reporting and web UI in CF Engine Enterprise. As with the other videos, please see the video description for a link to the written version of this tutorial in our documentation. Let's get started by opening up the web UI called Mission Portal. As you log in, you'll see the default dashboard with some useful graphs and widgets about the current state of your infrastructure. As you start using CF Engine more, you'll be able to customize and expand what information is shown here on the dashboard. But for now, uh, let's move on to the Hosts app. In the Hosts app, you'll see a tree view of the different operating systems, such as CentOS, Red Hat, Ubuntu, and so on. And you can see the hosts inside those categories. So here we see that the hub is in the Ubuntu category. If I click on the hub, I go to the host info page. Here we see useful information about the machine, such as the operating system, the host name, IP addresses, and so on. In the top right here, we have some action buttons for triggering an agent run and requesting report collection. These are especially useful if we've made changes to the policy set or to the data for this host, and we'd like it to fetch the latest changes enforce the new policy, and report back on the results. If we scroll down a bit, we can see the inventory section. In CF Engine, inventory is the reported data from each host that allows you to see what you have in your infrastructure, your inventory. Attributes are the most important. They have human-readable names and are commonly used in reports. In this case, we see policy servers is an attribute, and so is system manufacturer. Classes can either be defined or not defined, and they classify the system. So in this case, it's classified as a Debian system and a systemd system, but not a Red Hat system. Finally, variables are used in CF Engine policy language, and we can see here that UQ host, this variable, is set to hub. This entire section is customizable, and you can expand it with your own variables as you start writing policy or using modules. For example, if we're not interested in the system manufacturer, we can unpin this, click show all attributes, and add something else, such as the CF Engine version. If I close this now, you see that the CF Engine version is listed here. If we scroll back up, we see that there is a section for host specific data. In this section, you can set variables and classes for this host that will be distributed out and used as part of the policy evaluation. This can be used to trigger specific parts of the policy or customize different parameters to change the behavior on that specific host. To get you started, there are some suggestions here. So if we click this, we get a list of suggestions and hovering over them grants an explanation. For example, if we're not using the every minute module to trigger agent runs every minute, we can enable this using data instead. We click this first suggestion, evaluate policy every minute, and add it, and we see that the two necessary variables were added to make that happen. Now, this might be a temporary change, so once we're done with this and we're happy that the host should go back to its normal state, we can delete these variables. Let's move on to the Reports app. In CF Engine, you can do reports on demand, and they can be customized, and they can be scheduled to be run frequently, such as every day, every week, or every month. One of the most common types of reports is the inventory report. Here, you can see the same inventory information as we saw in the host page, but for all of your hosts. In our tutorial, we only have one host, but this would be the same if you have hundreds or thousands. Here, we can customize which columns are shown, so I will add one for CPU model, and CF Engine ID. and maybe uptime. Now, this report can be scheduled or saved for later 
or we can export it now as a PDF or CSV file. Another type of report that is very powerful is the compliance report. In compliance reports, you can define high-level checklists for what your compliance requirements are across your infrastructure. For example, this OS is vendor-supported report, which we added in a module in a previous part of the tutorial, has a list of the conditions to check that we are running supported operating systems. We see that in this case, there's only one host and it's running Ubuntu 20, which is supported. So that's good. If we go back, we can also look at the example report that comes with CF Engine out of the box. Here we see different kinds of conditions, including the OS ones, but also others such as disk space, CPU cores, and whether packages should be updated or not. Here we see that we are failing, which means that our host does have updates available. And we can click the failing report to get a list of the failing hosts, which in this case is just the hub. Now let's take a look at the policy analyzer. I'll click on it in the left sidebar. And if you haven't used it before, you may have to click the enable button. In Policy Analyzer, you can see the outcome of everything your policy set is doing across all of your hosts, meaning that if there are any errors, if there are any things that CF Engine cannot enforce, they will show up here as not kept promises. In our case, there are no errors, so everything is either kept or repaired, meaning that the state was already as requested or CF Engine fixed it. We can drill down into individual files and see what they are doing. And on the lines, you can see them highlighted in the color matching the promise outcome. So for example, here, we see that there is a CF monitor D process. In the bottom here, we can also see the outcomes across different hosts because some promises might be working fine on one machine, but then failing on another. If we click on a host, we go directly back to the host info page, and we can start making changes either to the policy or the data, and then subsequently request an agent run. That's going to be it for this tutorial. This was just a brief introduction to everything the reporting and web UI in CF Engine has to offer. But as you start using it more, you'll learn more and be able to use the other features as well. Thank you for watching.